Hey, a pleasant good late evening, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the Nashville Smashville Predators season preview. As, of course, you guys have one of the better coming off of a good season, his best season, um, potential budding goaltenders in the league in UC Soros at a point nine two seven save percentage and a two two eight in 38 games, 21 and 11 last year. Plus, you got Connor Ingram coming off of the uh, assistance protocol, doing good, doing better. I think he's going to still be a solid, at least future backup goalie. But then you got the big kahuna, the huge guy, St. Petersburg's Yaroslav, or, or Yaroslav. Yeah, Yaroslav Askarov. Yeah, I said that. I was thinking, I almost said Yaroslav a lot. But Yaroslav Askarov, who's going to be one of the best, most followed prospect goaltenders since Carey freaking Price. So, you have great guys in net already. That's a foundation you want to build around if you're the Predators. You still got a solid defense. You got not the same defense you used to have, but at least you still got the foundation pieces of Roman Yossi and Matthias Ekholm in place. And you have Matthew Benning, who's an underrated defenseman, and Philippe Myers, who I think will take off in a change of scenery out there in Nashville with a lot less pressure on him. Plus, you still have the youngster Dante Fabro, who you're expecting to get more out of, and Ben Harper, who's a good veteran defenseman, or not, not a good veteran, a good depth defenseman, I should say. And then you have Rocco Grimaldi, who fills in very nicely when he needs to, and can really be in the lineup every night if you want him to. Plus, the big thing about this Nashville Predators team that is projected by the Hockey News, by the way, Predators stands seventh in your division, is great young talent that's fun to watch. I already mentioned a couple in um, Philippe Myers, and you're going to want to obviously be watching some of these guys as they develop in the minors, in Yaroslav Halak over in the KHL, and others as they develop. You also have Rem Pitlick, who I like, got a cup of coffee in the NHL already. But this team has nice young talent in Philip Tomasino. You got Cody Glass, who's going to do good in the change of scenery, I believe, coming from Las Vegas. Just had to kind of get, just like Nolan Patrick has to, played a good first game. Get that kind of early pick in the draft head headspace out of him and go to a change of scenery, and it seems like that will be good for him. Oli Tolvanen did good in 40 games, 22 points, 11 assists, 11 goals. So that is all you um expected from him last year. Now he's going to grow on that. He's not even in his prime years yet. The kid is only 22. Cody Glass, again, is only 22. Luke Cunning is a guy that's going to continue to get better. Only 23 years old, plays a good 200-foot game. So this team has some nice young guys to watch. Oh, Taylor Janot, I forgot, or Tanner Janot, excuse me, forgot to mention him, who had seven points in 15 games. That's nothing to slatch about. So you have some fun, nice young guys that could become a part of the next budding core. And then, of course, you have Fedor Sveshkov, who are going to be down here in a few years. You have David Farrens, who's a defenseman that you could potentially have up fairly shortly. He's already 22 years old, out of coming out of Boston University. So he's somebody that could be up potentially even as early as next year. So this team has good budding pieces. The problem with that is this division is not going to be easy to compete in when, of course, you have the Colorado Avalanche in your division. You have the color or you have the um Chicago Blackhawks who of course made a lot of moves in the offseason you have Minnesota and you of course also have the Winnipeg Jets that Elliot Friedman is picking this year as his best team in all of Canada so it's not going to be easy whatsoever so it's going to be very hard for this team to compete for a playoff spot but I don't think that's what you should be looking at for a successful season this year Predators fans hell you have David Riddich who needs to really bounce back to prove he can be that backup goaltender after having some struggle bunny seasons here as your backup with UC Soros, who is a Vezina candidate. So you have to see what you have in your backup. You don't want to have to overtax Soros. And again, you have the foundation pieces from your defense, Ekholm and Yossi, to train these guys in Myers, in Benning, in the guys like Farris I mentioned when he comes up, in Dante Fabro when he's in, in Ben Harper. So you have good foundation pieces still on this team, and you have good young talent emerging in Glass, Tomasino, in Jano, in Tolvanen, so in Luke Hunnan. So this team is set up good for the future. In the present, it's just kind of the patience and the virtue at us for Predators fans down there in Smashville. But I think this is going to be a successful season for all things considered of what the Predators want, which is to see Tolvanen improve, see Cunnan improve that they brought in, see Cody Glass have a good season, see Philip Tomasino 
have a very solid rookie season. Hell, this guy's a very nice, um, was on a great scoring pace as a teenager in the AHL. He could come in and make a big impact, maybe even compete for that rookie of the year with the Calder, and that would be huge, and that would be fun to watch. So you're going to have fun things to watch down there in Nashville, but you still have the struggle bunny contracts you have to try to get out of for this team to eventually probably make their next impact playoff run. But it's still a fun team to watch of much young talent of Philly Forsberg, who's one of my favorite players to watch in the league, shooting from the right side, great shot, great speed on him. So you have a fun team to watch of youngsters, and you have a still the good foundation pieces in Forsberg, Yossi, and Ekholm to teach those youngsters. Plus, you, of course, have UC Soros, who seems to be butting into one of the league's better goaltenders, so that's a nice foundation thing to have to at least be somewhat relevant. We saw in the past, of course, with Darcy Kemper in Arizona. That's what led them to be somewhat relevant and even just get to the playoffs mainly off of his back in certain years. So that's the only way I honestly see this team with their lack of scoring, because Johansson and Duchesne have not been the same for a while. I think young guys will have good seasons, but they'll really have to have great seasons for this team to be in the playoffs. I don't think that's a realistic expectation. I think 6th or 7th in the division is where it'll be. But you're going to see young guys have vast improvement to be able to show that in the next couple seasons, you could have that next Nashville Predators run to try to get to the Stanley Cup and win it. So I hope everyone enjoyed this Predators season preview. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above on the easy-to-use Professor Joe Widget. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day and rest of your week, everybody, and enjoy the NHL season, and good luck to you Predators fans.